Good evening, this is Carlos Montero from the field. Today I'm in front of the stadium 974, where right now they are playing behind me Mexico and Poland. We have a lot of things to talk about tonight, but let's start with the headlines. South America makes its debut in the World Cup with Argentina and Mexico playing their first games. France will try to break the champions course against Australia. Netherlands rain on Senegal's parade beating them 2-0 in their opening match. Like I was saying, what a day when we left this morning very, very early. Today they are playing four games. We never thought was going to happen. It was a history in the World Cup. One of the biggest upsets. I would say it's the biggest upset. Argentina. Many people were saying they're going to be the champion. They lost. But what's happened when we left early this morning? The hotel, Argentine people were celebrating. They were on the street chanting. And we registered that with the cameras. What a beautiful day to be in Qatar. The fans from Mexico and Argentina took over the street of Doha and everyone noticed it. I feel very good, said yesterday Lionel Messi ahead of today's games against Saudi Arabia. That is what the 35,000 Argentines who traveled to Qatar wanted to hear. Mexico fans believe they can beat Poland today, but their main goal at Qatar 2022 will be to reach the quarterfinal against after 36 years. Go England! Way! The first one, very fast. Uh, yeah. And then the second one actually, because it happened so fast after. Yesterday, Harry Kane, the captain of England, did not wear the one lap armband at the World Cup due to the danger of receiving the yellow card. His team, nevertheless, easy beat Iran 6 2. Senegal lost against Netherlands 2 0. And Wales and USA tie with one goal each. Dream. Have you ever thought that Saudi Arabia was going to beat Argentina? Never. For me, but, yeah. But for me, yes. Like all of us have the hope that our uh, our uh, country and our team will win. So definitely, we have the uh, we will hope and we get it. But but why why Argentina plays so bad and Saudi Arabia plays so good and so strong with so much courage? We came with a strong heart that uh, here in Qatar is our home. So we are playing in the same uh, weather and the condition. Look, look around. Everywhere is supporting Saudi Arabia. You are playing like at home. Yeah, and by the way, the Argentina fans are amazing. But we are here, we came with a soul to, to win. Congratulations, congratulations. Thank you so much. That was a great game from Saudi Arabia. Yes, Saudi Arabia's players, second uh, half is uh, two, two and one for um, Argentina. I think it's uh, good players now. Great players. How far, how far can you go in this World Cup? Maybe, maybe, I, I hope, I hope to go to Saudi Arabia. I hope to grant 60. I hope that. Congratulations. Thank you very much.
It's really amazing what happened in Argentina. Lionel Messi was playing his fifth World Cup. Argentina has not lost the last 36 games. Argentina and Messi were ready to take the World Cup home. But so far, not good. Everybody loves Lionel Messi here, not only Argentine people from Bangladesh, people from India. Why so many people love Lionel Messi? This is the answer. Lionel Messi debuted in FIFA World Cup in Germany 2006 and scored the sixth goal in the victory of Argentina over Serbia and Montenegro. That year, he was eliminated by the host in penalties in the quarterfinals. In South Africa 2010, Germany was the team that eliminated Argentina again. Messi on the field and Diego Armando Maradona on the bench could not do any damage to the German team and lost 4-0 in the same stage as four years before. Messi did not score a single goal in that tournament. Brazil 2014 was Messi's third attempt to win the World Cup and he came closer than ever. Messi scored four goals in the group stage to help Argentina advance to the qualifiers. They reached the final against Germany and a late goal by Mario Goetze in the 113th minute broke Messi's hopes of winning the World Cup. Messi's dream was still alive and Russia 2018 was the recent attempt to touch the glory again in a world tournament. Messi scored a goal against Nigeria and lost in the round of 16 to a brilliant group of young French players who will go on to become champions. In 2021, Argentina won the American Cup against Brazil and came the first important title for Messi with the national team. Also, they won the finalissima over Italy, the reigning champion of Europe with a memorable performance by Messi itself and the whole team. The team directed by Lionel Scaloni arrives at Qatar FIFA World Cup with a streak of 36 games unbeaten and a real chance to win the trophy. Messi said that this would be his last World Cup and the last chance to make the dream a reality. And Messi talked after this awful game. What did he say? Messi said that I'm not going to disappoint all the Argentine people who trust me. We are going to do okay. This is the first match. I hope Messi is right because we love Messi. You know, I'm Argentine. Charlie Montero is also Argentine, and Charlie has the tough assignment to talk to Argentine fans and Saudi fans after the match. That's what they told him. Here we are outside the Lucille Stadium where Saudi Arabia just surprised Argentina by beating them 2-1. to one. Here we are with a fan from Saudi Arabia to tell us a little bit more. Yeah, we won today. We were the better team. And we expected this. I think Argentina did not uh, respect us enough. They thought they would win 5, 6, uh, 7 nil. I think uh, this is a hard lesson for everyone in the group, including Poland and Mexico. Uh, this Saudi team is really strong and uh, hopefully we will go to the next uh, group stage. <laughs> Hi, we're here with... Hi, I'm from Saudi Arabia. I'm so proud with what they did in the game and uh, I'm so happy for what they will do in, uh, do in the future. And uh, we're so excited for, for the, like what will happen next and that's... No, never, never in my life. But, you know, it's a World Cup and we have four days to recover the players, to think that it's just the first match. I know Nobody in the world expects this result. Today was a historical day for Saudi game. We did a lot today. Uh, really, today we beat one of the best team in the world. So now we are number one for this group and we are going to lead. We are not going to take over. We will, get, we will forget about this game. Now we forget for that one. We are going to prepare the second game for that to lead this group, okay? So today is the historical day for us and everybody for who attending this uh, stadium. Oh, Messi, Saudi Arabia here. Messi is Messi. Uh, he is uh, the best 
player in the history with Diego Maradona, and he can play good, bad, or today he's, he don't have the, his best match, but he's a great player and he's gonna be very good uh, to play against Mexico. You know what Charlie is doing and all Argentina at this moment, they are watching the game that's going on behind my back. Mexico against Polonia and they are play, praying for a tie because next Saturday Argentina play Mexico and a tie in the game that's going on right now would work perfect from Argentina. I want you to participate in social media. This is an interactive program. I see from the field Charlie being uploading videos in the different stadium but we have a trivia we want to know how much you know about uh, soccer the trivia today is what was the team of CONCACAF that reached quarterfinals in a World Cup and was eliminated without lose a game before the end of today's show we will give you the answer follow us please on Twitter at from the field in which you, you will be able to interact with us, see sport news updates and much, much more. Let's take a short break. Mexico, Polonia. Mexico is playing better. That's the good news, but no goals so far. Argentina happy, very happy with this result. We'll be right back in a few minutes. What a wonderful day. This is Carlos Montero from the field. Three of the biggest start in the football in the whole world. They were playing today, the same day. We start with Leo Messi, who has a not very happy day. Right now, Robert Lewandowski is playing. So far, Mexico is playing better than them. And the number three is one of the best players of the world, the French Kylian Mbappe, that's going to play in the last match of today is going to play France against Australia, 10 o'clock uh, local time. What we want to see, you know what I'm saying, is uh, France, the most important thing of tonight is France was the last champion, was the last champion in Russia, but there is a problem. In the last few years, the champion, the World Cup champion, didn't make to the second round. They didn't make after the group's uh, games. Let's see what's happened with France. Let's see with Mbappe. The game is going to be. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. This is the game is going to be at 10 o'clock tonight after Mexico and Poland. But now let's talk at somebody we love very much here in from the field. We love very much in Telesur English and Telesur Spanish is Diego Armando Maradona. Diego Armando Maradona is always in our heart of people who love. A soccer and Diego it was very important Diego is not with us anymore but in the past World Cup when he was working with us he always make a big difference let's talk a little bit about Diego Diego Armando Maradona showed that he seemed to be from another planet when he scored two goals in the quarterfinals against England but they were not simple goals they were the ones that are still remembered today in the soccer memory. The hand of God and the goal of the century. The victory of the Albiceleste led by the Argentinian over the English team represents the pass to the semi-final. In the first half, Maradona gave a recital of another level at the Azteca Stadium in Mexico. In the 51st one minute, the 10 scored the 1-0, immortalizing his hand of God goal. Also, the England players complained to the referee for validating the goal score with his hand. The judge let the play pass. But after only three minutes, what nobody expected happened. The national team will score the second goal of the match after an individual play by Maradona from the middle of the field, in which he took five opponents in front of him, 
being one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, where Diego scored what today we know as the best goal in the history of the World Cup, making the score 2 for 0. I think it is a dream goal, not because I scored. As Enrique says that he left me alone, he says that he gave me a pass that left me alone. He gives it to me far from the goal. I have the look to face and see the English players that couldn't catch me. They couldn't reach the ball. When I see Fem, we hesitate. I throw the ball in front of him. I throw it to him. When I throw it in front of him, he wants to put his hand on me. But I was coming at 100 per hour. Nobody stopped me. When I was going to kick it, I saw Chilton covering my goal. Then I fade and play short and Chilton is lying on the floor and I push it and I feel a kick from Boucher on the right ankle, which broke my ankle, but the joy of the goal was so great that it didn't hurt me. Despite Gary Lineker's goal at 81, the English could not equalize the score and the team led by Diego Armando Maradona took the victory. This result allowed the Albiceleste to take an important step in the World Cup that later allowed them to be proclaimed champions in Aztec lands. Two victories against the British were Maradona's other great feat in that World Cup and should be remembered. It was the first match against the most important team in the United Kingdom after the Falklands War, a reason why some saw the sporting encounter as a revenge for the Argentine defeat in the war conflict. Uh, can you hear what's going on behind me? This game is really exciting. It was a penalty kick and Mexico didn't make it. It's the mano de Diego, the hand of Diego Maradona who saved it because Diego, I'm sure he wants that this game end with a tie. I have another story before going to the break. Uh, Saudi Arabia, the government, tomorrow declare a national date of celebration. Of course, they did something amazing in this World Cup and tomorrow they are going to celebrate. Argentine people, we are going to cry. There is nothing to do. This is sport. Somebody wins, somebody lose. We'll be right back with more here from the field. Thank you for being back with us. This is Carlos Montero from the field. Today is not a good day for the gods of soccer, for the best soccer players on the world. Messi has an awful uh, game this morning. Now Lewidiski behind me, miss a penalty kick. Ochoa, the goalkeeper from Mexico, saved the day for Mexico and the game still a tie. Poland zero. Mexico zero, but Lewinsky, Messi, there are so many other stars in this World Cup, Qatar 2022. Let's see some of them. We will start with Almoez Ali, the striker of the host country, who is the first and only player to score in three different continental tournaments. His performance will be the key to Qatar's chances in the World Cup. In a Group A itself, players like Pervis Estupiñán, Gonzalo Plata, Carlos Grueso, Byron Castillo and Moises Caicedo stand out for Ecuador. For Senegal, Sadio Mane steals all the limelight, while for the Netherlands, men like Matisse Delight, Virgil van Dijk, Memphis Depay and Frankie de Jong do the same. The top team in Group B, England, has Mason Mount, Phil Foden, Raheem Sterling, Declan Rice, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Jadon Sancho and its top scorer, Harry Kane. In the same group, the leading scorer in the Portuguese league, Medi Taremi, wears the iron jersey. In turn, Christian Pulisic stands out for the US and Gareth Bale for Wales. 
in Section C, Lionel Messi leads Argentina, while Irving Lozano and Robert Lewandowski do the same for Mexico and Poland, respectively, while Saleh al Cheri is the main attack weapon of the Saudi Arabian team. For the current champions, Karim Benzema and Kylian Mbappé stand out, whose quality can lead France to its third World Cup. For Australia, the UEFA Europa League champion with Eintracht Frankfurt, Ajin Rustich, is the star, while Christian Eriksen supports a very competitive Denmark. In Spain, there is Pedri. In Costa Rica, the former Real Madrid goalkeeper, Taylor Navas, while in Germany, several players stand out, such as Manuel Neuer, Thomas Müller, Serge Gnabry, and Leroy Sané. While in Japan, Minamino is emerging as the Nipponi's top star. One of the best midfielders in the world today will be in charge of goals and assists for Belgium. Kevin De Bruyne, who is a key member of the team. Alfonso Davies, who represents Canada, is one of the best footballs in the world. As is Rashraf Hakimi, the leader of Morocco. Croatian aspirations are based on their capitan Luka Modric. While in Brazil, figures such as Marquinhos, Thiago Silva, Lucas Paqueta, Rafinha, Neymar and Vinicius Jr. stand out. In the Brazilian group, there will also be Dusan Blahovic, who will lead the Serbians. Finally, Portugal has the top scorer in the history of football, Cristiano Ronaldo, while in Uruguay, the gunslingers Darwin Núñez and Luis Suárez will lead the Celeste. Hume Min Son, for his part, will try to support and direct the game of South Korea. This is Carlos Montero from The Field. Thank you for being so active in social media or in, in, in our question of the day or trivia of the day. Many of you know a lot about soccer, I can see. The trivia of the day today was CONCACAF that reached quarterfinal in a World Cup and what, which team, which national team from CONCACAF that reached quarterfinals in a World Cup and was eliminated without losing a game. United States. Costa Rica, Mexico, Panama. The answer is Costa Rica. I was there with Charlie, as a matter of fact, in Brazil, 2014, the first game they beat Uruguay. Nobody could believe it was another big upset in the history of the World Cup. In the Brazil 2014 World Cup, one of the most outstanding delegations was the of Costa Rica. The Central American team remain on the feet through their participation, qualifying as leader of the Group D after winning their match against Uruguay three goals to one, against Italy by the minimum, and getting a draw against England zero to zero. They draw one one with Greece and eliminate them in penalty shootout. In quarterfinals, they faced Netherlands and the result was zero to zero, but this time they were eliminated by the Orange, also in penalties. We have another trivia that's a little bit more difficult. I have to do some research. Uh, which of these players were absent from a World Cup being a current gold ball? I'm going to give you a clue. It was in 1978 when Argentina won a championship for the first time. And the answer is Alan Simonsen. He was playing from Denmark, who didn't qualify to the World Cup of uh, 1978. Okay, and what's going on tomorrow? We are going to have also four exciting games. Let's see which one. Croatia, led by Luka Modri, will open the journal of the Group F when they face Morocco. Later, Germany will clutch with Japan and Spain against Costa Rica. These two matches as part of the Group E calendar. The last game of the day will be Belgium versus Canada, in which the first round of the Group F will close. It is all the time we have, but before saying goodbye, Mexico-Poland right now is going a tie 0-0, zero, zero, 
And then we are going to see the match of Australia against France. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful night. This is Carlos Montero from the field here in Doha, Qatar.